What's up everybody, today we're going to be delving into a topic that doesn't get a whole lot of coverage within the BMW N55 community. And this is the issue concerning rod bearing failure on the N55 platform. The specifics in regards to how this issue comes on on this platform, some of the solutions, and some other thoughts and discussion related stuff that we're going to be diving into for today's video. Now before I get into the rest of this commentary, I just want to point out a few things. For one, I'm not trying to fear monger here or spread any misinformation. This is not a highly common issue on these cars by any means. And my intent with this video is to basically inform users and enthusiasts that drive these cars pretty hard, especially guys that track these cars pretty frequently, because this is some pretty vital information that I think they could benefit from quite a bit. Additionally, I do have a new setup. I'm trying to go for a cleaner aesthetic with the video, so I hope you guys enjoy this a uh, little more office oriented setup rather than in the garage where things are a little bit messy. Uh, if you guys could give me a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel down below if you have not done so already, I would appreciate that immensely. With all that being said, let's get into the rest of today's video. So as I stated previously, this is primarily gonna be in reference to F-Series N55 engines and specifically for guys that are track rats or track enthusiasts that really like to hit those road courses, those time attack events, like to really drive the crowd out of their N55s. And even some of you guys that frequently take your car into canyons, huck the car around corners and turns, uh, this is all gonna be relatively applicable to all of you. The N55 is a three liter inline six turbocharged motor that was produced by BMW and it uses a traditional wet sump oil supply system. Now for day-to-day -day use, every now and then doing some highway pulls, high speed maneuvering, canyon runs, and things of that nature, it's totally fine and it is for the most part highly sufficient when it comes to supplying the engine with oil. However, for those who like to take things a little bit seriously with the performance of their vehicle and really like to drive these cars hard and experience the full potential of the platforms that these cars are built off of, the N55 has been known to show some symptoms of premature rod bearing wear and rod bearing failure as well. Now, why is this happening? To put it in simple terms, the answer is simply due to oil starvation. Going back to what I was saying previously about the traditional wet sump oil supply system that the N55 uses, when it comes to a high performance context or something where enthusiasts are frequently driving their cars in a very hard manner, uh, that oil supply system, the oil pan and the oil pump of the N55 are just simply inefficient and somewhat inadequate when it comes to supplying the engine with a continuous run of oil. And this is particularly evident when the car is being subjected to very high longitudinal and lateral g-forces, like I said, when cornering or accelerating very hard, decelerating very hard, and basically pulling high g-maneuvers, that's really where you're gonna see these problems occur. And over time, your oil pump, your oil pickup is starting to suck up air, and what happens is you're starving the engine of oil, those internals that require that lubrication. Again, full synthetic motor oil is the lifeline, it is the blood of your engine, it is so important for your engine to be continuously lubricated no matter the context of the situation that you are in, you can see how these problems may begin to arise over time. Now what is the solution for this problem and where do we go from here? What some guys do as a sort of band-aid fix to the problem is they will actually overflow the sump with motor oil. And basically what this ensures is that there will never be any type of starvation because there is just an excess of motor oil that is just sitting in the oil pan itself and that it is flowing through the engine. However, this can actually lead to its own set of issues, particularly speaking with the crankshaft is spinning at a very high rate of speed inside the engine, it can actually whip up all that excess oil and essentially turn it into this frothy or foamy type substance that can actually cause some issues. Basically, prevent the oil from doing its job efficiently, which is lubricating the engine. On top of that, the oil can actually leak into other parts of the engine where it should not be located. And you can also have a loss of oil pressure, which is definitely not something you want to be encountering. So while it does work for many guys as a you know temporary solution or as a band-aid fix, there are better solutions out there. And this primarily comes in the form of retrofitting your oil sump with one out of the BMW S55 and the M3 or the M4. Now we know that the S55 
and the N55 are shared off that same uh, relative engine architecture. So many of the parts are interchangeable to some extent in some regard. Even though the S55 has quite a number of dramatic performance improvements, uh, many things are still a direct bolt-on and a direct fit. And luckily enough for many of these N55 owners from the F-Series, we know that the oil pump and the oil pan itself are a direct bolt-on solution uh, to the N55 from the S55. Now the BMW S55 oil pan is actually more shallow than that of the N55s and on top of that it features a baffle with extra chambers uh, specifically placed inside the pan to basically ensure a continuous collection of oil and to also ensure that oil is never escaping uh, from the pump itself so that the, there will always be a continuous supply of fresh oil that's being ran through the engine so that that lubrication can always occur. And of course this is going to be something that is extremely helpful during those high longitudinal acceleration runs or when you're hitting those corners at a very very fast speed and BMW actually guarantees that with that S55 oil pan the motor will actually have a continuous supply of oil up to 1.2 lateral G's. And retrofitting the S55's oil pump is also going to help you significantly as well because the suction pump is a twin flow gear unit and it is a modified variant of the pendulum slide oil pump that is utilized in the N55. The flow cross sections have been optimized for the S55, which results in less oil loss, thereby improving the pump's delivery rate by 18%. And as I stated previously, this is a direct fit. So the oil pan itself, the oil pump itself is a relatively simple swap. There isn't any cutting or retrofitting or hard wiring or any of that kind of stuff. From the research and the folks that I have contacted with as well, this is a relatively simple bolt-on swap. And not only will it help to elongate or prolong the life of your motor, but it's going to help significantly if you're somebody that truly likes to drive your car in a high performance setting uh, by protecting the engine's internals and by continuously lubricating the engine with oil. And while you actually are getting that oil pan swapped out or retrofitted, if that is the case or if that is the route that you decide to take, uh, it's also a good idea to check those rod bearings as well. See if there is some premature wear or if you're at a higher mileage vehicle to check for signs of wear and potentially even get those upgraded or replaced as preventative maintenance because if those go bad, or if those fail on you, you're looking at some potentially pretty serious engine damage that can occur. Now again, I would just like to reiterate that I'm not trying to fear monger here. Again, most people will never have to deal with this issue and for the most part, the majority of these N55 enthusiasts uh, are not going to be tracking their car frequently or enough to the point where this may be a prevalent issue. Many guys just daily drive these cars and for that type of purpose, that type of scenario, the current uh, wet sump system that is applied to the N55 is more than adequate. But like I said as well, I'm always here just to inform you guys and to bring some new information and insight into the community of these cars. So I would appreciate if you guys could give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Again, I hope you enjoyed this new little setting that I'm filming in. And of course, I can't wait to bring you guys some more awesome content. I'll catch you all in the next one. Take it easy.